So um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Guo Wen, and currently I'm a PhD student at Texas A&M University. And uh, today I'm going to present uh, our previous work on the MS Story Tank Vendetic Model, the implementation and validation. So uh, here's the overview of my presentation. I will go, go through firstly from the background to the mathematical model and the deck model. And also we present some uh, validation results and uh, our conclusion and future work. So firstly, about the background, um, as you can see in the first figure, that the, the, with the increasing proportions of intermittent renewable energy resources in modern grid, that we need to balance the dynamic loads from both the supply side and demand side. And uh, the demand flexibility in buildings are effective way to provide grid response, responsive support by um, there are five ways to uh, improve the efficiency and uh, load shift, load shift, moderate and generation. So um, the, for the demand flexibility in buildings, the S thermal storage, storage system are mostly common, commonly used for the demand flexibility in buildings. So uh, we want to conduct the control oriented research work on the thermal storage system. So we need to model the S storage tank. And uh, there are some uh, existing uh, S storage tank model in some traditional simulators, but we didn't use that. For example, like transits and antipass. The, the reason is that these traditional simulators, they uh, have idealized control models. So I think they are not support, uh, suitable for control-oriented studies. And what's more, these traditional simulators, they um, don't separate the model equations and solvers. So it can be very hard if you have a very complex system or high fidelity system, control system. So it will be hard for the simulation. So we choose the Medallica. And the, the benefits of that, the Medallica models reflect the system dynamics and support control on case studies. And what's more, uh, there's an open source uh, buildings library that's called the Medallica Buildings Library, MDL, uh, developed by Lawrence Berkeley National Life uh, to support the uh, research on HVAC system in buildings. However, um, the, the MBL uh, don't have, doesn't have the s tank model right now. So we want to conduct the uh, research on the S as the most storage system. So we need to model the S storage tank at first. So, um, so that's our motivation. So firstly, we need the mathematical model. We use these mathematical equations uh, based on the reference. Uh, for example, the discharging rate and charging rate are based on the curve fitting data. And the most important part in this mathematical model is that uh, we, we are using the lock in temperature difference, that is the equation five, to calculate the uh, all light temperature when we have the in light temperature and the mass flow rate. And when you calculate the, when you got the all light temperature, you can calculate the, calculate the storage of, of charge uh, using equation seven and eight. So, um, however, the equation five is not robust um, due to um, singularities uh, occurs in some scenarios. For example, scenario one, uh, when the inlet temperature difference equals to the outlet temperature difference. And uh, scenario two, uh, when the inlet temperature difference or outlet temperature difference equals to zero. And uh, scenario three, the um, delta T1 and delta T2 have different signs. So in order to avoid uh, singularities, we use the smooth functions to uh, make sure the equation five of log mean temperature difference is continuous and uh, differentiable. So we use this, uh, as you can see in the red figure, the function 5.1 to function uh, 5.5 to make sure the uh, function is uh, continuous, continuous. So uh, we have the, uh, based on this mathematical model, we, uh, mod we build the modality model uh, in the, as you can see in the, si in the second figure, is in the demo phase, as the details about it as storage tank and that model. And uh, there are four uh, key components in this S tank. That is uh, that there are uh, storage mode selector, the all light temperature controller, and the log mean temperature difference calculator and 
heat flow rate calculator. And the next slide shows the uh, details of some components. For example, uh, here's this state diagram shows how uh, uh, how modes change among the dominant mode, charging mode, and discharge mode. And also there is a uh, um, uh, the outlet temperature the controller, and this figure shows the details of this controller in the Demola interface. So right now we have the um, data model of the S story tank. So our next step is to uh, validate the, this, this numerical model to see whether it's accurate and uh, whether it work, uh, is, work, um, is suitable for, for our future research work. So we firstly conduct the um, we compare the um, modelic mod model with the existing energy plus model, and also we uh, we compare, we validate the modelic model with the experimental data. So firstly, uh, let me just uh, briefly introduce the comparison uh, results. We use the this existing energy plus model, and here are some descriptions for this model. For example, like the, we use the example file, uh, the weather data, and uh, cooling capacity. And also the red figure shows the uh, virtual test bed for the s story tank uh, model. So um, next slide shows the results of the comparison result. The table uh, shows the uh, metrics of prediction accuracy, that is CVR Messi and MDV uh, for the state of charge and all temperature. Uh, they are this SOC and all temperature are outputs of the uh, data model and anti plus model. And we use the uh, input data of uh, inline temperature and mass flow rate. So this uh, figure shows that the modelic model actually match the uh, energy plus model. So for both discharging day and charging day. So that means the modelic model is a reasonable one, right? To uh, further validate the model, we conduct the experimental uh, we, we have we conduct the experiment and get the experimental data. Here are some descriptions for uh, this experiment. Um, there's a, a real S storage tank at the National Institute and of Standards and Technology, and uh, the S storage tank have a capacity of 274 kilowatt hour. And uh, for example, the chill water that flows through the S storage tank is uh, 30 percent. Uh, PG and uh, 70 person water salute. So here's the uh, big uh, picture of the real S story tank uh, at least. So um, next slide shows the results of the validation result. Uh, we, com we compare the simulation data versus the mirror data and the table shows the metrics of prediction accuracy, CVR, uh, and NMD of the story of they of charge and all that temperature. And this figure shows the results of the uh, numerical model and the real test that um, discharging day and charging day. So as you can see in these figures, the numerical model actually, I think, uh, reflect the system dynamics uh, compared with the real s test, uh, test tank test that. So um, based on our pre previous slides, we got the conclusion that is the, uh, the new s impact model is proposed and the proposed model uh, was validated against a real s storage tank at, at least. And the results of CVR Messi and MBE shows the model have a good prediction accuracy according to Ashri Gadon. And uh, and uh, most importantly, that proposed model supports control oriented studies. And uh, we plan to open source this uh, model uh, when our project is finished. And finally, I will briefly introduce uh, my current work. So uh, the model uh, I we propose uh, is like this one. Here's the uh, story tank over here. And uh, my current work is uh, on that uh, on how uh, MPC affect the model predict control affect the demand, demand flexibility of the building and the systems. So we firstly build a virtual high fidelity building test map in the data. And then the S story tank uh, we propose in our paper is a very basic 
but very important component in this uh, virtual test bed. And this figure shows the schematic diagram that is the single duct VAV's HVAC system and uh, most commonly used for commercial buildings. So right now, um, I'm conducting the demand specificity evaluations for building energy system with thermal energy storage. And that is the, that refers to the uh, storage tank we proposed in this figure using model predict control. So that's my current work. And uh, yeah, that's it from, from today. Thank you.